In Sprinkler Social, there are two types of dashboards, standard and custom. In this video, you'll learn how to create and utilize custom dashboards. To find your reporting dashboards, open a new tab and navigate to Sprinkler Social. You can then access reporting in the analytics section right here. In Reporting Home, you'll see a list of all of your dashboards, both standard and custom. Standard dashboards are ready-made, pre-built dashboards for common use cases, whereas custom ones are bespoke dashboards you can build and edit as you like. Now, there are two main ways of creating a custom dashboard. The first way is to use an existing dashboard as a starting point. You can do this by either hovering over the Options menu and clicking Clone, or when you click here on Create New, you can choose to set a starter dashboard from the drop-down menu here. The second way of creating a custom dashboard is to start from scratch by choosing Empty Dashboard as your starter, which will start you off with a blank dashboard to fill in as you like. In this case, let's use the Social Overview Dashboard as our starting point. So once you've chosen a name, set the location, and chosen any tags, you can click Create to get started. In a custom dashboard, there are several additional capabilities that you won't see in a standard dashboard. First, you have the option to add new widgets at the top of the page. Now you can create widgets from scratch or add from the widget library. And for a more in-depth look at this process, please review our video on adding widgets. For now, let's add this one from the library and click Done to return to the dashboard. Alongside adding new widgets, you can also access more widget options here, such as editing, which will take you back to the screen we just saw, deleting, locking, and much more. Next to this, you will also see options for refreshing the widget, applying widget level filters, and for certain graph widgets, you can access quick actions to allow you to alter the X and Y axes, and you can even change the visualization of the widget here. Like widget customization, you can also customize the layout of the entire dashboard. To do so, click the Options button at the top here and choose Edit Layout. In the following screen, you can easily drag and drop widgets to rearrange them, and by using the corner handles, you can resize them as you like, and when you're happy, click Save. Back in the dashboard at the top of the page, you can also alter the layout by adding new tabs. Click the plus icon here, and you'll be presented with a fresh page to add your widgets of choice. Lastly, let's look at compare mode. By switching this toggle on at the top of the page, a second date picker will appear, and you'll now see comparative data in your widgets from the current date period and the previous one. Some widgets like these ones will show percentage changes between the two periods, and others, like this one, will show you the visuals of the two date periods, allowing you quick and easy comparisons. If you'd like further information on reporting dashboards, you can check out the Knowledge Portal. To find it, click your user icon in the top right, choose Platform Help, and then Knowledge Portal. From here, you can then use the search bar to find the information you're looking for. In this video, you've learned how to create and utilize custom dashboards in Sprinkler Social. Thanks for watching.